So if you've been working with Windows 11, you will, you will realize that Internet Explorer is no more included in Windows 11. So at this moment, most companies are actually using Microsoft Edge and very few companies are using Internet Explorer. So, and Microsoft is also encouraging users to actually switch to Microsoft Edge, which is, which is actually the new browser of Microsoft. And also some, like for example, YouTube does not actually work anymore in Internet Explorer. So, if you are working as an IT help desk engineer, definitely one of your major tasks will also be to support users. And sometimes users may call you and tell you that they have issues with Internet Edge. So, um, Microsoft Edge. So, they can actually be different issues that could be wrong with Microsoft Edge Why they are calling you. So, for example, if you are having issues whereby Microsoft Edge keeps on freezing, it's actually very slow. And the user could not actually work because Edge keeps shutting down. What you can actually do is the following. Here you can see I'm using Microsoft Edge and this is actually a Windows 11 device and it does not include Internet Explorer. So here you can see we have the option called settings and more and that is the three dots at your right hand side. You can also get there by just um, entering your keyboard, Alt plus F. So if I click on the three dots, you can see we have some different options here. But what I'm actually interested on in is actually settings. So by clicking settings, it's going to take you to a different option whereby you have different options to manage Microsoft Edge. So one of the major tasks you can actually do to actually, and this actually fix 90% of Microsoft Edge problem, is to actually reset Microsoft Edge. So here you can see we have a lot of information here and what you can actually we have profiles, privacy, appearance, the start home. So you can modify a lot of settings here, but most of the settings are actually being managed by if you are working for a big company or even small company, these settings will be managed using group policy because you can actually use group group policy to manage the home page of users or the start menu and also prevent the user from actually deleting cookies and more but right now we are actually interested in reset settings so if i click on the reset settings you can see it says restore settings to their default values so i'm going to click on that so it's, it will actually tell you that this will reset your start startup page new tab page search engine and pin tabs so we're going to just click reset after clicking reset it's actually advisable to restart your browser or even restart your computer as it says settings we yeah, reset so sometimes it will actually ask you to restart your device which is very very it is very as it is advisable to actually restart your device because by restarting your device is going to also reset your edge and this will fix most of the issues but what we can also do is the following let me just cancel this and then close let me just close edge so if i go to my let me just go to my start menu and here I'm going to actually type, let me type apps and let me just type apps. So now we cannot click the add or remove programs. So let's click add or remove programs and let's see what options we have with Microsoft Edge. So from the apps and features, so what we can what, what we need to do is to actually tap Edge. So here it's going to give you, you can see we have the option called Microsoft Edge. So I can actually click on the three dots here option, which it says, you can see it says modify. So if I click modify, so it's going to ask if you want to allow this app to make changes, I'm going to say yes. So here you can see we have the option to actually repair Microsoft Edge. So what you can actually do, if for example you reset Microsoft Edge and the problem, you still feel that the problem is not solved, we can actually repair Microsoft Edge to try and fix that problem. So by repairing Microsoft Edge, you can actually get go to the internet and try to actually re-download and reinstall the browser. But mind you, you will still retain all your favorite settings in Microsoft Edge, which will not be lost, and also all your past, all your saved password 
password will be saved so we can just click on repair uh, repair and also actually repair microsoft edge and try to fix all the issues with microsoft edge so next we're going to see how to actually fix printer issues if for example someone calls you and says they are having issues with their printer that they can't print to a network print, printer or to a standalone printer that is somewhere on their um, in their office so let me let us go to the next video and see how to actually fix printer issues